на околу 90 минути возење јужно од градот Едмонтон. Доаѓаме до мала, рурална населба, која се простира на земја, која означува символ и го окарактеризира рейлефот на провинцијата Алберта. Ранч, ергела, тропот на кони, лаеш на кучиња. Веројатноста да сретнеш македонец овде е многу мала за разлика од големите градови. Но овој као бој доаѓа со хармоника и љубов за македонската музика. Неговото име е Крис Герман. Growing up my my dad was a a very nervous man. Very uh he couldn't sit still. Very hard working man. But um he hated to see me sitting doing nothing. He'd walk into the rec room, I'd be sitting with a book or something. He'd go he'd look at me. But what? Sure said this. I bet I don't know, I'm reading this book. I bet book Абе, не знаеш што те работи има тоа да правиме. Излези надвор, налади ја башчата, се чека треба тебе. Ајде, бук да се букосаш. Ајде, мрдни. Okay, well, he would never let you sit still. And the names they call you, oh my God. Дорво, не делка, абе, буда. That was the big one. He blamed my mother. Every time I did something stupid, he blamed my mother. He'd look at me and go, абе, што мајка го роде ова будала нешто. Turn it around on my mother's side. It's not his. Voko da te jadi, zmijao te kasni. U da si strevž, da te nema od tuka. Oh, the horrible things they used to call us. The winner of this documentary category all the way from Edmonton is Stanley Bogus. Writer, producer of Dennis E. Lugre, the Macedonians of Edmonton, and founder of Hydro Productions. Stan? Finally, I met one person, 
and they gave me the next person. And I said, okay, I'll do this myself, and I'm going to shoot, edit, uh, direct, light. I'm going to do everything myself because I didn't have any money doing it. I'm just going to do it myself. It's a good way for me to be able to teach all the people that I'm teaching broadcasting to, to be able to do, uh, be multi-skilled, multi-talented. So I put all this stuff together and, um, you know, one thing led to the other and I got this documentary done and I sent it to Bill. And now, Bill never knew I was working on such an extravagant uh, project. Um, but when I sent it to him, he was in the middle of watching a hockey game or something like that or whatever it was, a playoff game. And it didn't really register it when he was saying, this is pretty good, all right? So, anyways, we got it done and then I kind of felt, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself, I did all this all by myself. And then I took a step back and said, wait a minute, this is what independent producers in the ethnic community have to face day in and day out. What I did is nothing special. The multicultural producers who are independent productions, like Bill Yankoff that's been doing the Macedonian show for 30 years on his own, 30 years, Week day and week out. So this, I'd like to pass on to say that the, um, this recognition should go to all independent producers in the multicultural field because they're the real heroes in all this, that they do it on a daily basis, weekly basis, not just once every 10 years. Thank you so much.